Hey everybody, this is Timothy. Want to go through the races that I just recently signed up for and will be training for and uh, kind of take you through what my training blocks are going to look like and uh, be a little bit more specific. I'm not, I don't have um, everything dialed in perfectly yet for my full marathon. I'll be doing April 1st of 2023, but I've got at least a baseline. However, as far as uh, the next month for my Snow Canyon half marathon, that I'm going for a sub 120 uh, half marathon, I am going to start uh, that training. I've already, I've been kept up with a lot of training, but I want to dial it down quite a bit more because I need to shave off a little over a minute in order to accomplish that. So, um, just going to take you day by day. Um, Sundays are going to be a middle distance to a long distance on the tempo side. So I am going to be holding a sub seven minute mile and I will be doing trail specific running for those in my racing shoes, which are the Nike Next Percent 2. Um, I am going to be doing similar, I will do at least two of those runs at a very similar course. Luckily I live near that course and so I'm going to do a similar if not the same route and do between an eight to 10 mile to uh, just get a better feel for it. So um, that's Sunday. I will also do a kind of a shakeout workout where I'll do some cardio and some lower body workouts just to make sure that I'm strengthening my hips and my quads and my hamstrings and calves that are all gonna be needed for race day. Uh, Monday is gonna be a little bit easier Every day I'll do at least a five to six mile, um, just an easy run in the morning. So a five to six miler, depending on the day. Pretty much every day will be six miles, other than Friday, which Friday will be my rest day, and Friday I'll only do five miles. And that one will be very easy, where I'll probably be doing some walking as well. Um, so every single day, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., I will be doing a morning run. Um, also on Monday, I'm gonna do a um, cross training. Mondays, I like to do upper body. So I'll do upper body on Mondays, just to get, uh, yeah, this is more just uh, to keep upper body strength. So that'll be Monday, not a hard day. Tuesdays and Thursdays are gonna be a little bit harder. So I'll do my 6 a.m. or six mile morning run. And then I may do abs around four to five p.m. Uh, it's more like probably five to six when I get off work. And then I'll also do a longer or middle distance run. So an eight mile run that I do while my son is doing his uh, soccer training. Um, so I just run around the park. And that would be a progression run where I normally do two to three miles, pretty easy. Normally eight to nine minute miles to start out. And then I do another three, maybe four miles, harder effort. Um, and then finish off with like a two mile easier pace, just kind of a shake out, uh, cool down. So that's gonna be Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then Wednesdays are gonna be a little bit easier in the mornings, well, as far as distance wise. So I'll do my six mile morning run and then I'm gonna do speed work in the night. So I'm going to be doing uh, specifically 5K. Uh, so hard effort 5Ks where I'm gonna be shooting for six minute mile or under on Wednesday nights. So that's gonna be Wednesday nights. I may incorporate some sort of cardio workout in there as well, just because that evening run will only be probably you know 17 to 18 minutes, hopefully. Um, like I said, Fridays, that's gonna be my rest day. Just a five mile, super easy walk or run in the mornings, just mainly to get my steps in. And then that's it. Outside of that, it's gonna be a lot of relaxing. Saturday is going to be my long run. And that one I'm not gonna be doing as much for pace. It's gonna be going for distance and endurance. So I'm probably gonna be doing that either in uh, my I have New Balance 
the uh, New Balance Fresh Foam More version 3. And those are just uh, to save my legs and those I'll probably between, do between 10 to 15 miles on Saturdays. And then I will be doing a probably a HIIT workout in the afternoon. And then the evening I may do a just an easier shakeout run or a walk with the, the dog and wife. Um, so that's pretty much what my weeks are gonna look like for the next month. The goal is to be getting every single week to get between 60 to 80 miles depending on the week and uh, really build up some great speed work and then also my endurance to hit that sub 120. Um, and then the beginning of November is when I will start to taper off and uh, start to go off my taper. I do have a video. Um, if you would like to see that, uh, we'll put it over here. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of my taper that I'll use for a half marathon. And then after this half marathon, I'm going to probably give myself a couple weeks of recovery where I'll not do as many miles, maybe only 40 to 50. And then I'm gonna go straight into marathon prep where I'm gonna be doing a sub three hour is my goal, and my stretch goal is a sub 250 marathon. So for me, my fastest marathon I've ever done was a 324, so this is gonna be a, a big improvement for me. I've only done two marathons, and this will be my third marathon. It's the Mount Charleston Marathon in uh, near Vegas. Heard it's gonna be a great, it's a fantastic course, a fast course, so um, yeah, I'll probably take at least four, four months, four, maybe five months of some serious training to start prepping for that sub three hours as a, uh, for sure. And then 250 as like, uh, just, you know, that's going to be what I'm going to be shooting for if everything goes perfectly. So, um, I will go through training for that a little bit more specifically later on after this half marathon. And I'll take you through that. And then each, uh, yeah, I'll take you along with my runs and uh, show you kind of how things are going. All right, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. As always, let's thrive together. Bye.